Hey guys, in this video you'll be learning on how to find the total surface area and the lateral surface of a cuboid by not memorizing them but by understanding them. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so first of all, let's understand what do we mean by a rectangular prism or a cuboid. Now, when we take a look at a cuboid, we know that it has six faces, which is divided into front, back, left and right, and top and bottom. Now, we know that these three pairs will always be equal. So the area of the front will be equal to the area of the back, the area of the left will be equal to the area of the right, and the area of the top will always be equal to the area of the bottom. Right guys, so there are totally six faces or three pairs. Now let's take a look about on how to find the area of the front and back. So if we take a look at front and back, we are pretty much talking about this. This is the front and the back. If you are guys following up with me. All right, now if you take a look at the front now, it is, we have the length and the height. This is the front. So in order to find the area of the front, we have length multiplied by height. And since we have the front and back in which both are always equal, we will multiply it by two. So the area of the front and back will be length multiplied height multiplied by two. Now let's take a look at the left and right. Now, if we take a look at left and right, if we take a look at left and right, we would be having, so this would be our left and this would be our right. Now, how can we find the area of the left and right? So what we do, this is the width, which is same here, and this is the height. So in order to find the area of the left, we take the width and multiply it by the height. So we would have the width multiplied by height and multiplied by two, since the left and right will be equal. Now let's take a look at the top and bottom. So for the top and bottom, we would be having this as the top and this as the bottom. So, in order to find the area of the top or the bottom, we take the length and multiply by the width. So, we have the length multiplied by the width multiplied by 2 since there are two faces. So, the total surface area would be all of these added to each other. So, what do we have here? We would have, for the front and back, we would have 2L h plus the left and right we would have 2 w h plus for the top and bottom we would have 2 l w so the total surface area the formula would be 2 l h plus 2 w h plus 2 l W. So this would be the total surface area. Now when we take a look at the lateral surface area, it means the area of this rectangular prism or cuboid which excludes the top and the bottom. That means we will not be including the top and we will not be including the bottom. Now if we take a look at this, if we don't include the top and bottom, so let's write here again. The front and back is 2 L H. The left and right is 2 W H. So the lateral surface area would be 2 L H plus 2 W H. So again guys, the lateral surface area will not include the top and the bottom. Alright guys, hope this helped you and see you next time.